going on guys? Uh, today is another car boot sale video. So I got quite a lot of stuff today uh, at the car boot sale so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the footage of what I've got. Some of it is a little bit weird, um, I tried a new angle for the camera on my shoulder of a backpack. It didn't really work too well so there's little bits where you can see bits that I've picked up and things but quite a lot of times I can't actually see what I've picked up but I will go through that all with you at the end of the video. Oh, that's what it is. Right. <laughs> what you got on the Wii Fit Boat? What on that? Hi. Three quid. To come with the remote as well? Yeah, yeah the remote's there with it. Okay. Nice one. There you are, thank you very much. Thank you. What you got on these, mate? Three pound each. <laughs> what do you want that now? Do you want this? This. How much is this? <laughs> That's three pounds. All work perfect. Here's the money. There you go. Yeah, uh -huh. Definitely no. Yeah. No. Just press it. Boom. The brushes are away. See you on the brilliant. You couldn't honestly ask for better. Twenty-five. Yeah. You Whatever. never free them for twenty-five. All right. And that's only because it's you. And because your bad jar is every penny. Charge of lemons. Ah, oh, quite good then. Bye. So I've just said advice over this just because the video and audio is really, really out of sync. Uh, so on this table I found a, a nice pair of Nike trainers. She only wanted £6 for them and then when I picked up the other one it was in really bad condition so I decided to leave them. Um, also as well we took um, my wife's brother with us and he ended up picking up a really nice um, vintage Nike uh, top, I think it was vintage anyway, uh, for £5. Um, so that was his first ever car boot purchase and now it's not for him to resell, resell or anything like that he's basically just going to keep it for himself so so on this table i picked up this teddy bear um when i seen it i thought it looked like a kind of vintage paddington bear uh, it didn't have any kind of tag or anything on it so i was a little bit unsure and when I picked it up, it had a, a bit of a stench to it. So I decided not to go for that. Um, she did say it had some like boots to go with it. But I just decided to end up leaving that. And she was pretty much begging me to try and take it because she didn't like it. But um, I didn't take that. So at this stall, these are where I got those Kerry Muir um, boots. Now, looking at comps online, I'm probably only going to about to see a £5 profit on them. I think I only paid about £4 for them, so 5 or £6 pound profit, they only sell for around about 10 to £12, pound, so yeah, probably won't be getting them again, but still, it's all about learning new things. Uh, now, at this stall, uh, Amy picked up a um, Polaroid camera, brand new in box, it was a Fujifilm, I believe, um, but she was asking £20 for it, I didn't really want to pay that, I wasn't too sure what it would kind of sell for brand new, so I did decide to leave that and just move on 
Um, again, it's all about learning. I don't know how much that was worth. As you'll see here, I was a little bit naughty. There was a one-way system in place here. Um, and I decided to cut through. Just because I seen a big, massive uh, thing of shoes on the floor. Uh, so I decided I was going to go and have a, a little look at them. And this guy got right in my way. <laughs> so ended up moving back a little bit. Uh, there was a, quite a lot of really good shoes on there. Uh, there were some Clarks men's shoes. Some really nice Nike shoes. Now... They were quite highly priced, so the clock shoes I picked up, I think, were on about £15. Um, and then the Nike shoes I picked up were 10 to £15, and they just didn't seem like it was worth buying. Maybe I should have asked her how much they actually were. Uh, I know they were all individually priced, but she might have done as a deal if I had done the two pairs. But I'm not 100% sure on, on kind of shoes myself, on what they sell for, and... And what's good to look out for so I did decide just to leave them and um, move on in just a second I did pick up this um, bike as jacket off the floor and looked quite nice uh, really really heavy um, which I was just shown there um, generally I'm sure the, the kind of the uh, protection and stuff was there and that was in it he wanted £35 for it, I believe. Um, I did decide to leave it. Again, I would have probably liked to try and get it down around about 20 I would have probably taken it with £20. But I didn't take a massive amount of money with us, so I didn't really want to kind of spoil all my money there and then. And I wanted to have a little look around, because as you can see, there's still quite a lot of stalls to get around um, in this one-way system. As you can see, Noah got his find of the day. It was quite cool, actually. A little Dyson Hoover, um, which he hasn't actually put down since. And he's taken to his grandma's house today to play with that. So this is where I picked up that little bundle of games. Um, the Tekken. Um, I did actually check that game. I thought I did. Uh, and knew that that... Um, Black Ops 2 wasn't in there, but I still picked it up because there was still an Xbox One game inside. Um, there was Tekken, and then that PlayStation 1 game, and then there was a couple of Xbox 360 games that I picked up with it as well. Um, the guy wanted £5 for them, and I just took that because I knew that Tekken game would have been quite good. was a bit unsure about the PlayStation 1 game, but looking at comps, it looks like it's going to do quite well. The case is a little bit broken, so I don't know if I'm going to bother... Getting like a, I might get like a replacement case online. I have just bought a lot of Xbox 360 replacement cases, but I know obviously they're a totally different thing. Um, but yeah, so this is me negotiating the price, but I didn't really negotiate. He said five pound, I said yes. So this guy here, as you can see in that red suitcase, I don't know if you've just seen that two seconds ago, that one there, um, was loads of the VHS DVD combos, which as I say, always do really, really well with. Now, he wanted £25 a piece for them. And I tried to offer him kind of a bundle price. I said, well, about like £7 each. And he just refused. Uh, as I was walking away, he said, well, I'll do them £20 each. And I was thinking, no, it's still not enough. Um, obviously, with electronics, and especially older electronics, I don't like to spend too much on them, just in case they don't work. The one that I've show, I'll have i show you that I picked up in the video, and the one I got at the start, it doesn't work. So I only paid £3 for that, so I'm not too bored about that. But obviously if I had decided to stick £20 in each one, it would have just been a total waste of money if uh, obviously that they didn't work. So this is the guy who had all of the football t-shirts. Um, his wife also does, uh, or girlfriend also does... Um, like wax melts, so Amy loves to go there and buy some wax melts uh, every week. She's always looking to see if she's there, and um, so yeah, I ended up picking. I think it was about four or five different ones, and so I managed to pick up loads of stuff today. Uh, I was actually really, really surprised at how much I've picked up for the amount of money I've spent. I think I've spent around about seventy pound ish, um, and got quite a good haul today. So let's get out of. Pretty much what we've picked up. 
So the first thing um, was this Xbox 360 with a 120 gig hard drive on there as well. Comes with all the leads controllers and uh, a small bundle of games as well, which I'll probably just bundle with it. Um, and obviously all the leads. And there's quite a lot of stuff, so just bear with us. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I got was this um, Carry Muir, I believe it is. Uh, waterproof shoes. I uh, thought these looked quite interesting and quite nice as well. So these are, I think, were four pound. Picked them up for, and then in really, really good condition. In fact, I don't even know if they've been worn. To be quite honest, because they're in such good condition. Uh, another thing I picked up, again going with like footwear, was a pair of these Dunlop um, kind of safety boots. So they've got steel toe caps on the front. Um, these are again. I don't think they've ever been used brand new. Um, little bit, well, tiny little bit of wear, maybe used once, uh, but in excellent condition as well. So, paid £5, I believe, for these. And obviously, they all work the safety ones. So, hoping to pick up quite a good amount of that um, for them ones. Um, I did also get a Newcastle t shirt, uh, which I've just noticed actually on the back. Is a little bit creased, which will obviously affect the value slightly. Um, wish I found these last week because obviously there's just been a Newcastle match today and that would have helped the sales a little bit. But hey ho, it's not going to be the last time they play because I believe they just won 3 0 against Sheffield. Was it Sheffield? Yeah, I believe so. Then, this is one of the first things I picked up was this VHS DVD combo. Um, always do really really well with these if you're wondering what the noise of the background is I've got Nora in the garage with us so he's uh, busy playing with stuff <laughs> um, so yeah so DVD VHS combo this was £3 a really really good pickup on there along with that from the same guy um, was a Toshiba it's just a DVD, uh, Blu-ray DVD player uh, a little bit scratched up but I've been selling DVD players for around about £30 at the moment. Again, this is only £3, so really nice pickup on that one. And then a Wii Fit board with a controller, so a Wii Fit controller. Picked this up for, I believe it was £3 or £4, um, and it came with a Wii controller as well. It is missing the battery compartment, but that's not too much of a worry. Um, you can buy the replacements while it's online. Then got a big bundle of big bundle of uh, football shirts. So kind of a, a retro old style uh, Northern Rock Newcastle t-shirt, um, and then just loads more. Um, I paid around about fourteen pound for these ones. So football tops always do really well. Then got a Nintendo 3DS. This was, I believe, three pound. Um, someone was just wanting rid of it. Three pound doesn't come with a charger, so it might not work. If it doesn't, I'll try and fix it. If it does, that's perfect. I believe I have got a wire for it, so I'm going to have to hunt down for that and see if I can find the charger for that as well. Then picked up a bundle of games, so five games altogether. Nothing amazing, it was more just so that I could um, kind of bundle them with consoles and things, so I haven't really looked at the value of them. Uh, I did get this Xbox One game which was called... Nowhere. Stop making so much noise. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, um, but it actually has um, Mirror's Edge inside, so I didn't actually look at that in the actual... Uh, when I was looking at it. And then Tekken 5 and the PlayStation 2. <clears throat> and then, wow, picked up a, another DVD player. So this is just a normal DVD player. It's in pretty rough condition, so it does need a little bit of a clean up. Um, but I'll do that and get that tested and listed. And then, I'm not going to bother picking it up because it's quite heavy. A CD hi-fi system. 
um, it's a Sony one so Sony always does really well so if you're ever looking for anything um, audio or anything or even cameras always go for Sony because Sony always do really really well so yeah um, thank you very much for watching this video today uh, I hope you whoever came to the live stream yesterday with rummage around and master of pieces uh, it was really good fun uh, I didn't actually think I would enjoy it so much but I did uh, so thank you to them guys for um, coming on that with me I will hopefully be doing some more hopefully with some other youtubers in the future as well and getting some more people involved in in that uh, I did set myself a little bit of a challenge uh, with rummage around so um, it was to get certain things like so one was an 80s item one was a Teletubbies merch and oh, what was the other one there's a couple of other things but I can't quite remember but I actually didn't manage to get anything <laughs> um, which was quite quite disappointing but yeah so yeah I mean all the, the things I've picked up I'm hopefully going to do really really well on so let's see how I get on with them so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one